Hello Gemini, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. We're gonna do your bonus, but we are almost in the March, so it could be. This is definitely going to be the March reading, but we will see Gemini what's happening for you because we are almost there in the March. So you can see this as like extra bonus or March reading. Let's see what's happening for you, Sun Moon Rising in Gemini. What's happening for you? What's coming for you? It's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Book a personal reading if you want to. Link is given below in description of Instagram. Follow me there. Follow me on, reach out to me on Instagram or email address. Sun Moon Rising and placements in Gemini. You can find this reading. Let's go. Let's see it. What's happening? For Gemini, Nine of Wands. Who are you dealing with? Nine of Wands. Capricorn, Sagittarius could be. If it's Sagittarius, definitely your seventh house. Hmm. Six of Swords, Two of Swords, the Moon Reverse. You're confused about someone. This is someone who's giving you mixed signals. They're going to play with your mind, Gemini. Or oh, this is you. You're playing with this person's mind. Who is playing who? Look, two of uh, pentacles. This person is thinking, should I reach out? Should I talk to them? Should I communicate with them? This person could be Libra with the two of pentacles. Definitely, it's like someone who's definitely have duality to them. Like indecisive energy. Finding the balance. Could be Libra, Pisces, Cancer. Uh, what is another sign? Gemini, that's you, okay? So obviously that could be, you're dealing with another Gemini, but hmm, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, hmm, look, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, or could be even Aquarius. This is also, look at this infinity symbol and infinity symbol. This is someone who's continuously on your mind and you are on this person's mind. This is someone with the Two of Swords and the Moon card. I strongly feel this is someone that between you and this person, there was a lot of confusion. Um, this person never speak up to you. You always had a confusion about this person, this relationship, like you never knew that how this person truly really feel and think about you. But now, when you move on, Six of Swords, are you trying to move on from this person? Look at this Nine of Wands. You already make the boundaries with this person. I think this is you with the Nine of Wands. You're like, make the boundaries with this person and you're not allowing this person to play with your heart anymore or to give this person energies anymore. The moment you will walk away from this person, either physically or mentally, this person will reach out to you. And I think a lot of you, this person is coming back to you. Because mentally or physically, you moved on. This could be even someone that you physically moved on from one place to another. Like you shifted. You just changed the place. You just don't want to be there. Or this is someone who live far away from you with the Six of Swords and the World Card. They could be living in a different country, different place, different city. There's a distance. And this distance definitely going to make this person go crazy, want to get closer to you. And I think they're coming. Now with the world card, some of you, this is you, you're closing the chapter with someone, you're walking away, you're moving away. You could be even shifting one place to another. That's a big thing. But this could be also your perspective or shift happening in your mind. Like you're definitely leaving a lot of old things behind and it's, you're changing, you're freeing yourself. You don't want to waste your time on anything or any person, any situation that wasting your time. Hmm. You don't want confusion anymore. Some of you, you could be struggling with pregnancy, I'm hearing, or so, something struggling with your own femininity, like you're having a difficult time to be in your feminine energy and power. There are some issues here. It could be even issues with the mother here. This could be some of you, so you're dealing with your mother. Are you a mother already? I don't know. With the Knight of Cups and the... Uh, and it's a sword. This is definitely someone who wants to talk to you, want to communicate with you. They want to express it. This person has a deep feelings or they could be even going to express their feelings in a very deeper way. Like you really need to figure them out. Yeah, they are, they're interested. This person already maybe declared something to you or give you the hint on the Valentine Day. I think they already gave it. They already did something. They post something. They said something on internet or social media. They did something already on social media, in, on internet. You really need to figure it out because that was for you. Hmm, let's see more. Page of Wands and Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person is having a difficult time to communicate with you. This could be even you. You're waiting for this person's message and they're waiting for you. They're like, why are you not coming to me and telling me when I'm here already? to date you, to be with you. It's like there's a mutual 
energy, there's a mutual attraction, but one person is like, why this person is not texting me? Because they're posting indirectly, maybe, or they're telling you indirectly that they're into you, they like you. Hmm, interesting. King of Swords and Two of Cups, yes. This could be an air sign, definitely Libra. Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini. Hmm. And this person definitely have feelings for you. It's mutual. Now, some of you, you could be juggling between two people. One is one, is, one could be same age as you or older you, than you. And there is another, another person who is younger than you. So, but this air sign or water sign is your, your soulmate. It's like you're coming together, together. This is someone who's definitely want to tell you that they're into you. They like you. They have feelings for you. Mm, ten of Cups. Wow, happy ending. This is going to make you so emotional and overwhelmed that you're going to be so excited and happy. Yeah, it's like coming together in love. True love. Could be in a rainbow tribe. Some of you could be from rainbow couple or rainbow tribe. There's a lot of rainbow colors here. Being together, being happy, being coming into union. This is everything. Look, two of cups and ten of cups. Everything. Everything that you ever dreamed of. You're getting married. You're... This, uh, this person definitely already, I think, will fall in head over heels for you. If you were dealing with someone who was toxic, you need to let him, them go because you deserve someone who really give you this world, this happiness, this love and treat you like you are the world, you are the, you are the muse, you are the princess, you are the prince, you are the king, you are the queen. And this is that person, I think. They're going to love you and adore you a lot. They will give you their world. But you're waiting and, and crying over someone, text or message, and someone who's a player, someone who's childish and immature. And this is someone who's very mature. They want my, they're like, they want family, they want kids, they want love. And they, they're ready to give you love. So some of you, you have a choice between two people. One that you're waiting, the one is like, is into you. Are they going to make a move or they will let you know? Are they showing their interest in you already? I think there is confession coming from this person. This person is about to make a move. They're about to tell you that how much they they want to be with you. But you need to understand their words. They're going to be very straightforward or they're going to be... They could be even acting cold or detached like I'm not into you. But they are. They're into you. They are. They're in love with you. This could be someone who's confusing you. Maybe you think that they're hot and cold with you. Sometimes they love you so much and other time they just got disappeared. So this is that person, I think, wanting to show up again, wanting to talk to you again. Now some of you, this could be you. You're definitely going to celebrate something in your family, about kids, about you. Yeah, nature, maybe you're going to... You need to connect with the nature. You may be even going to do some type of a visit somewhere. Yeah, this person is spying on you, checking on your social media and watching you, watching you online. Yeah, not yet. They're not ready yet. They're not ready to make a move yet. But they're watching you. Yeah, this is your true love. Divine union is a true love. This person definitely want to be with you. It's just the matter of the timing that you will meet this person or coming your way. Some of you, you have anxiety. Definitely try to stop overthinking. Stop. You need to stop overthinking. And worry about things because something is meant for you and you will definitely be with your true love. Now this person could be an earth sign that watching you or in you know, autumn maybe you met this person September, October, November. This is that person. Some of you it's going to happen in a spring now. You may be even separated or ended things in autumn and now it will blossom in spring. Something is blossoming. Something is ending but something is, is blossoming and starting in your life with this earth sign. Or maybe air sign or water sign. So get ready for that. I'm going to see you later. Bye.